Daily Pony Online TV. Aha, una, una niuliza uh, relationship na analysis ya sakata la majadiliano ya bandari tunavyokwenda kwenye katiba mpya tunavyokwenda kwenye uchaguzi wa serikali za mitaa 2024 na uchaguzi mkuu 2025 mm. naomba ni wajibu hivi ni habari ni hivi mm. eh, nilicho, nilichojifunza mimi <coughs> kama Dennis ni kwamba tunapokwenda kwenye katiba mpya masala ni ninachokiona mimi tunapokwenda kwenye katiba mpya ebu Tusiende kuweka lugha maneno koma full stop na kila kitu ndani ya katiba zenye ma, zenye utata. Sijui kama naeleweka. Tusiweke vitu vyenye utata kwenye draft zetu za katiba. Hii imetufundisha. Hii imetuonyesha kwa sababu wa Tanzania wako makini katika kusoma, katika kuchambua na katika kuelewa kinachoandikwa. Tuko katika karne au katika kipindi ambacho people are very careful, are very interested to understand clearly to uh, to analyze clearly and to provide a clear understanding ya kinachoandikwa ndani ya contract zetu ndani ya sheria zetu za mkataba yetu sasa huko tunakokwenda kama alivyosema Kitila Mkumbu na mrifaa hapa kwa sababu aliongelea zaidi profesa ni kwamba katiba ya jamhuri ya muungano wa Tanzania tunapoingia kwenye michakato hebu tuangalie tusilete tena mambo ya utata katika process na katika content na context yake Uh, wakati tumeshaona hili na bandari linatuonyesha nini watu waende waandike lugha waandike maneno yanayo make sense yanayo make sense na yanayo make reality bila ambiguities nyingine zinazoweza kuleta sinto fahamu hata kwenye katiba ya inayo kwe, katiba tunayokwenda kuangaika eh, kushughulika nayo hilo la kwanza hilo kwa hiyo ni muhimu sana kwa drafters wetu nataka nikueleze maandishi wabaya kuna mambo makubwa ma, mawili hapa kuna sheria na kuna lugha au maneno yanayowekwa ndani ya document. Hapa tumekuwa tukipambana wakati mwingine na lugha na sio sheria na sio meaning ya kitu. Lugha unaweza kuiweka halafu lugha ile ikaleta <coughs> eh, maana tofauti wakati kile unachokieleza kinaweza kiwakawa kinakuwa ni tofauti. Umenielewa vizuri? Ni muhimu hiyo tukalielewa. Katika Kiingereza nitatoa haraka haraka mstari wa Kiingereza. Ni mtu aliyekuwa anatakiwa kunyongwa. Anatakiwa kunyongwa, si ndio? Yule anayeidhinisha akaandika hivi. Kill badala ya kuandika kill him, koma not save him. Naomba nirudie. Kill him, koma not save him. Kwamba anyongwe. Usimsa asiachu. Akaandika hivi. Kill him not, koma save him. Naomba nirudie. Kill him not, koma save him. Jamaa akamwambia unyongwi tena. Mkuu amesema unyongwi, sheria imekuruhusu, chukua mizigo yako wewe katika watu wa kunyongwa, ondoka gerezani umepona. Kwa sababu aliandika kill him not, koma save him. Lakini angeandika kill him, koma not save him. Angenyongwa. Koma peke yake hiyo. Na kwa hiyo watu wanaokwenda kutuandikia nyaraka hizi waangalie neno moja, homa moja, full stop moja, exclamation mark moja, a question mark moja ina maana kubwa sana katika haya mambo. Sasa tunakwenda kwenye katiba kwa mjibu wa swali lako, matarajio yangu na mategemeo yangu. Watu wakienda kutuletea haya mambo, maneno mengine haya ya kuleta sintofamu na kutuchanganya vichwa, hatutayahitaji na tutawashangaa. Na, kwa, na, na sasa hii imeleta imeleta nini kwenye wale wa drafters wetu wa sheria, si ndio? Lakini tunataka kusema cha mwisho ni nini? Ni hivi tumekuwa na matatizo mwandishi wa habari ya mikataba si ndio mkataba huu mkataba huu mkataba huu mkataba huu wataalamu wa uzuiaji wa migogoro wanaita conflict prevention si ndio kama mimi hapa tuliobobea kwenye uzamiri wako waliobobea tumebobea kwenye uzamiri kwenye uzamivu na kadhalika wataalamu wapo wanaoweza kusoma document na kujua hii italeta shida mimi ukiniletea document yoyote hata hii post government agreement kabla hata hujatia sahihi Nitakwambia hili litaleta shida litaleta shida litaleta hizi straight forward kama iko katika lugha ya Kiingereza au ya Kiswahili nitakwambia sasa kama wataalamu wako wanatumika hiyo ndio swala langu hilo kwa sababu ku draft agreement au contract is one thing lakini kuelewa clauses zitakazoleta conflict au zitakazoleta shida is a different story na kwa hiyo kwenye katiba na tunakokwenda tutumie utaalamu wote ulipo hata waheshimiwa wabunge wakipelekewa documents waseme kwa kweli vijana wetu mmefanya kazi ya kutosha tunawashukuru kama bunge hili halina ambiguity hili linaeleweka hili liko sahihi hili tunaweza kulipitisha hili liko hivi lakini hatutashangaa kama mikataba mingine itaenda tena bungeni halafu iende na sinto fahamu za kabo kamchizi 
everybody will be surprised so, nikana tuko serious na katika ku draft mikataba hii hicho ndicho kitu kimoja ambacho nimejifunza kwenda uchaguzi 24 24 25 eh tumejifunza kwamba eh wa Tanzania wako makini wako makini na kinachoendelea si ndio wame wanajadili masuala ya nchi yao wa Tanzania wanaielewa nchi yao wa Tanzania wana uchungu na taifa lao na wa Tanzania wanataka kuona mambo yanayoeleweka yanayofanyika kwa ajili ya maslahi yao na kwa hiyo maandalizi ya uchaguzi wa serikali za mitaa 2024 na se, uchaguzi mkuu 25 na, na tunavyokwenda kwenye katiba mpya wale wanaohusika wachukue mstakabali huu wa process ya majadiliano ya bandari si ndio waone wa, mijadala waliokuwa nayo waheshimiwa wa, wa, wa Tanzania waheshimiwa wananchi wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania na wajue na kusema kwamba tunahitaji carefulness tunahitaji uangalifu mkubwa tunahitaji kwa kuona kwamba wananchi wa Tanzania wanataka kuona mambo yanayoeleweka mambo yanayoeleweka na sinto fahamu za kaboka mchizi wananchi hawahitaji hiyo they want straightforward things mambo yanayoeleweka yanayohusu maslahi ya taifa lao na wako tayari kushiriki wako tayari kushirikiana na serikali wako tayari kuona serikali wanashirikiana nayo na bunge wanashirikiana nalo na baraza la mawaziri na wote kwa pamoja tunasaidiana katika kujenga taifa la jamhuri ya muungano wa Tanzania kwa hiyo kwa maoni yangu ndio hiyo kwamba tutakuwa careful watu watahitaji kuwa careful wanapo draft mambo na tunakokwenda katika process hizo Uh, uh, Dr. Muchunguzi wakati tunahitimisha mahojiano haya nijatamani nisikie kidogo upande wa utalii na uwekezaji. Utalii na uwekezaji. Naam. Ehe unachotaka kujua ni nini? Nataka nijue ni, 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 eh, ni, ni nini maoni yako ama nini kauli yako kuhusiana na utalii na uwekezaji hasa katika mstakabali wa bandari. Oh, yes, eh, kwamba yes. watu wameandika na nini na ya. Najua ole yako. Ole yako ni kwamba ah, sasa watalii watasema Tanzania huko wawekezaji wataona kama Tanzania kuna shida. What I'm saying is this. Tanzania haina shida na, kabisa na wawekezaji. Mjadala tuliouendesha wa bandari ni mjadala sahihi. Mjadala muafaka kwa wakati muafaka kwa shughuli muafaka ya masuala muafaka ya taifa letu. Kwa hiyo watalii na wawekezaji waendelee kutuelewa na kuelewa kwamba Tanzania remains the best destination for tourists. Na nataongea kwa lugha kidogo ya kigeni kwa sababu wengi wanatufuatia pia ni wageni kwamba Tanzania remains a good destination for uh, tourists ni kituo maalum cha wawekezaji cha, cha watalii and we have the best tourist attractions in the world so we are welcoming tourists to come to Tanzania uh, and visit all our beauties uh, that are available all, all, all over the country i cannot mention all of them but uh, a few of them include the uh, Rumanyika Karagwe uh, national park the Ibanda Kierwa National Park, Brigi Chato National Park, Rubondo National Park, but we have more national parks including Tarangile, Serengeti, we have the Ngorongoro Crater famous, we have Mount Kilimanjaro, we have Lake Manyara, Lake Natron, but we have Mwalimu Nyerere National Park, we have uh, what we call Ruhaha, we have Gombe we have Muto Ugala, we have Katavi and we have song we have so many other attractions in our lakes in our coastlines and not forgetting the beautiful islands of Zanzibar and Mount Meru and other places so we take this up i take this opportunity as a Tanzanian to welcome all tourists from all over the world to continue flocking and coming into Tanzania and enjoy the beauty of our country enjoy our natural resources and all tourist attractions and nobody will ever regret for any single money he or she spends on his or her trip to Tanzania that's much of what I'd like I'd like to say with regard to tourists and with regard to investors what i would like to say is that Tanzania remains a very good country for investments uh, the country is open for all investments in all areas including and not limited to mining manufacturing agriculture education pharmaceuticals health fishing industries you name it tourism hotels and everybody infrastructure any investor would come to Tanzania and and we are welcome to all investors so we are remaining a good country for, invest, for, for, for investing for investors for tourists and we welcome all of the, all of them to come to Tanzania uh, the land of Ngorongoro the land of Kilimanjaro the land of Zanzibar and where all beauty and all natural resources that got created and all natural resources are available on all investments 
are available for anyone who wants to invest in Tanzania and move on with his or her investments. So we welcome everybody to Tanzania and for tourists we say Karibu Sana, Tanzania come and enjoy your stay in the Karibu Sana Tanzania. We are still a good country for investment and for tourism. Nilichokisema ni kwamba tuna wakaribisha watalii kuja Tanzania na wawekezaji kuja Tanzania bado sisi ni taifa zuri kwa wawekezaji ni taifa zuri kwa watalii na majadiliano yetu kuhusu bandari ni majadiliano ya kawaida ambayo wa Tanzania wameyajadili na wanaendelea kujadili uh, katika mstakabali wa taifa lao hayazui mwekezaji hayazui mtalii yanazidi kuwakaribisha wawekezaji wa Tanzania wako tayari kwa wawekezaji wako tayari kuwapokea watalii na watalii waje kwa mamilioni na mamilioni na wawekezaji waje kwa malaki na malaki taifa liko wazi taifa linawakaribisha waje tupate mapato zaidi tupate fedha zaidi tuweze kuendeleza taifa la Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania katika nyanja za elimu afya lishe kilimo makazi bora barabara bora maji safi na kadhalika hayo ndio maoni yangu kuhusu hilo make your day right kiliboni online tv kupata habari mpya na kwa haraka kila siku usisahau kusubscribe kisha like na comment Gili Boni Online TV